So if you just heard about NVC, it could be that you have some misconceptions about it that may not serve you. So I just want to address them. Starting! First misconception. NVC is about being nice. You know, the word non-violent kind of seems to suggest this. But a really important part of NVC is expressing honestly. And this is not always um, what people might call nice. For example, I was dating this guy and I liked him, but I wasn't like physically attracted to him like as much as I would like. And usually what I would do then is kind of, you know, dump the guy or just, yeah, not continue with him without saying anything. And now I thought like, okay, fuck it, I don't have anything to lose. I'll just talk to him about it in an NVC way. We had this really great conversation about what we find important in relationships. And after a while I was like, shit, this guy is really nice. <laughs> So now I've been living together for two years with this guy that I thought at first was not so attractive. So this is a warning, this is what NVC can do to you, you might end up with a really nice guy. Um, but anyway, I said something that wasn't nice, I said it in an NVC way and it was really connecting and that's in the end what NVC is really about. Second misconception, NVC is about manipulating people. And I guess with manipulating you mean something like um, someone tries to make you do something and is not really transparent about this. And yeah, I guess I guess that some people try to use NVC this way because they're really desperate to get what they want, you know? And I did it as well, like sometimes when I feel really desperate, I try to convince some, someone using NVC or using, you know, whatever I have to convince someone. And this is not what NVC is about. The goal of NVC is to connect with other people. And as soon as you don't have this as a goal, People will notice, like people will notice kind of the incongruency between... <laughs> people will notice kind of the, the, the gap between what you're saying and, and what your body is, is showing. So if this happened to you, like you had a sense people, someone is listening to you in an NVC way just to make you do something, I get that this is very unpleasant and this is not what NVC is, is meant for and yet it may happen. So if you notice yourself doing this, I just would like you to have some self-compassion because it just means you're very desperate for this thing that you want and you just really want it really badly which is so human so yeah just notice it and see if you can move again see if you can be honest about it like oh i noticed myself wanting this so much that i really want to convince you into doing what i want something like that you know the word manipulation in itself is kind of a judgment so third misconception nvc is just a communication model um, I've heard this a couple of times in my trainings as well and I don't agree with it because NVC is really a mindset. The principle behind it is that there is no such thing as a right way to do things and a wrong way to do things and that, I don't know, society or God or your parents know the difference, you know, what is the right way to do things and what is the wrong way to do things. Instead, NVC says that um, it's most helpful basically to look at what works for both parties or all parties involved and that's more than a communication model that's really a way of living so for example what i did with um, my boyfriend in the, the household you know you you have to do household chores right and and my idea was that the right way to do that is to divide them in two and we would just each do the task that we are kind of assigned Right? That's the right way. That's what I was taught. But it didn't work. My boyfriend didn't do anything and I was mad. Because I had this idea of what, you know, what, what should be done, basically. And then I sat down with him, I had a talk with him and we did it in an MVC way. So I was open about, you know, this idea that I had that we should each do our tasks. And we were connecting about it. And then because I took the time to kind of go beyond this idea of what was right and wrong, my boyfriend kind of dared to open up and to find in himself that actually he was very willing to do anything in the household if it would just be together with me. Voila! It's very cute, right? And it works. We did that. We just do everything together. For me, it's a bit funny because it's not so efficient. But in the end, we do stuff and we get stuff done and I get help for it. So that's what's so great about it. To have this willingness to go beyond you know, what is right and wrong that takes some effort and takes some, takes some openness 
and this is also part of MVC so it's really not just about how you talk it's all also about how you act and how you your mindset is and this is what really going to help you in the long run to connect more with yourself and other people and to create a happy life so these were the three misconceptions that i had if you have any other questions you can put them in the comments i'd be very happy to get back to you and if you would like to see more videos please subscribe because this way i can keep you posted on new any new videos coming up and this way more people will see these videos which will make me very happy so see you next time bye and this is what really is going to help you in the long run you know to really turn around your life basically my actor. Thank you.